Weird Quiet Guy, thanks so much for your stitch. I can't seem to stitch you back, so I'm going to lay down my reply here for you. First off, I'm very well aware that if the Democrats expand the Supreme Court, that opens up the Supreme Court to be used as a weapon. As you point out, if the Republicans come in, they can also expand or retract the size of the court to serve its own ends. The argument against court packing or expanding the court is that we will erode the impartial integrity of the Supreme Court. Here's the thing. It already is partial. This eviction moratorium was passed through the shadow docket system, behind closed doors, no hearing, secret stuff done, and then the Supreme Court just arbitrarily issues decisions like this. So it's already partial by the whims of the conservative justices. So therefore, if we want to have a fighting chance to prevent such cruelty from being legislated, then we have to expand the courts. Second, although I like a lot of your measures concerning constitutional amendments, remember what happened with the Equal Rights Amendment, which wasn't all that radical? It did not get passed. And we're just talking about basic gender equality. So a lot of what you propose is nigh impossible. You would either have to get two-thirds of both houses to say yes to this, or you would have to get two-thirds of the state legislatures to ratify this. And that is going to take years. The easiest, best, and swiftest remedy right now is to expand the court, as terrible as this is going to end up. As much as the Supreme Court is going to be vitiated because of this move. But it really comes down to this. We need a court that can eventually return to something, hopefully, that is impartial. Because it's clear that the Republicans will steal seats, as they have, for the justices. And we need to play hardball, just like them.